This video is about Kaori Matsumoto's best Nawaza performance in international competition and the story behind it. In August 2015, Kaori Matsumoto won her second World Judo Championship. She told the Japanese press that she was even better than she had been when winning Olympic gold three years earlier. Four months later, Matsumoto returned to competition at the Tokyo Grand Slam, a tournament she had won three times previously. But she would not leave Tokyo with a smile on her face. In front of an expectant home crowd, she was crushed in her opening match by Toby Jujigatame, flying armbar from Brazilian rival Rafaela Silva. In order to regain her position as one of the most feared Nawaza players in the 57 kilo class, Matsumoto needed to refocus and sharpen her Nawaza skills. Two months later, and whilst battling an illness, Matsumoto made her return at the Dusseldorf Grand Prix. And this time, she was the one who provided the Nawaza fireworks. In her opening match, she used a Huizinger roll to Yoko Shihogatame for an Osai Komi win. In the next match, she dominated Rafaela Silva, winning with a Kosoto Gari. In the final, she would face France's Helene Rusevo. This match would culminate with 90 seconds of fluid, aggressive, non-stop Nawaza that even Kaori Matsumoto herself has said she is proud of. First we'll have a look at her opponent for the final, Helene Rousseau of France. So we see her here applying a nice tight Yoko Sankaku Jime. Not quite as uh, off to the side as you typically see. She's got her hamstrings positioned directly against the side of her opponent's neck and was able to get the submission win after establishing the Osai Komi. Now here's a look at the final match. So Kaori Matsumoto did look a little bit sick in the face, but when you see her movements on the ground, You'll be quite surprised that she was battling illness as well as Rousseau during this tournament final. So first Nawaza sequence here and Matsumoto going directly for the Huizinga roll. We saw her try to get earlier, but Helene responds by lifting her in the air and is able to force a mate call. Matsumoto controlling the lead hand, so Helene moves for a overhand grip. Kosodogari attempt by Matsumoto. Attempting an Ogoshi perhaps from Matsumoto. Now she's dragging Helene back onto the mat, it's transitioning to Juji Gatame. Helene is resisting the turn. Helene once again moving into the safety area, trying to escape this Newaza sequence, but Matsumoto pulls her back in, gets the turnover, but still hasn't managed to achieve a guard pass. Working now for the guard pass, transitioning to Okuri Erijime with the right hand against the throat. She's turned her opponent's shoulders towards the mat. So the referee is called Osai Komi. Doesn't look very stable now. Matsumoto is able to come up to her belly. This time Matsumoto again looking for the Huizinga roll. Let's see if she has an alternative strategy in mind. She's not going to be lifted. She's instead switching to Kata Sankaku often referred to as the Matsumoto headlock 
because she won a number of matches with this technique. And as she moves her into Osai Komi, it looks like it will be all over for Helene from this position. So this is what I think to be the best Newaza performance of Kaori Matsumoto's career. Just constant attacking, going from one move to the next. I am planning on doing two more Kaori Matsumoto videos in the future, so if you're a Kaori Matsumoto fan, subscribe for those. So this isn't the match she had at the Dusseldorf Grand Prix against Rafaela Silva. Unfortunately, I can't find that video anymore. It seems to have disappeared, but uh, here's an old one of her pinning Rafaela Silva, one of her main rivals at the time. So the last laugh did go to Rafaela, who won gold at the Rio Olympics in front of her home crowd. Kaori Matsumoto got defeated in the semi-final by the Mongolian judoka Gorgeson and walked away with a bronze medal after beating uh, Ling of Taipei. So here's a look at how she pushes on her opponent's leg in order to complete the turnover. Just some different angles on this kata sankaku. You can see the left leg sliding in against the thigh. Once the thigh is able to be extended, it's quite easy for her to turn her opponent over. Works that foot in against the thigh, and there's no way she can stop the roll once that leg is straightened. She's trying to fight to free her arm. You can see how Kauri is initially trapped the wrist while turning, and then after being turned, Helena is able to release the control of the wrist. Let's have a look at some alternative replays from the opening match that I started this video with where she won by Juji Gatame. And the interesting thing was that she appeared to be going for a wrist lock at one point. This match was from 2010, the first round of her first world championship winning tournament. And you can see her bending the wrist here. The wrist locks legal in 2010? It appears she did it in a way that the ref wouldn't have been able to see it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think.